published time, the 22nd of April 2018-2208 edited time, the 23rd of April 2018-1354 The alleged chemical attack in the Syrian city of Doma was staged by local militants, who tried to frame it as a Syrian army strike. A German TV correspondent, who traveled to Damascus, has said publicly, citing local witnesses. People told us in a very convincing manner that this whole story was staged. Uli Gak, a reporter with a German ZDF public broadcaster, said, referring to the alleged Doma chemical attack, while he spoke live on ZDF Youth Today show on Saturday. Gak had traveled to Syria and visited one of the refugee camps near Damascus, where, some 20,000 people from eastern Gouda and particularly from Doma, were living. The scene of the attack, which allegedly took place on April 7, was in fact the command post of a local Islamist group, the reporter said, citing the witnesses he was able to speak to at the refugee camp. Read more he went on to say that, according to the locals, the militants brought canisters containing chlorine to the area and actually waited for the Syrian air force to bomb the place, which was of particular interest for them, as the Syrian forces eventually struck the place, which was apparently a high-priority military target, the chlorine canisters exploded. The locals also told Gak that it is not the first such provocation in Doma that was staged by the militants. According to other witness accounts, the militants deliberately exposed people to chemical agents during what they called training exercises then filmed it and later presented as an evidence of the alleged chemical attack in Doma. The reporter then said he could not verify the people's statements and cannot say if they are all true but called them quite convincing, and added that they deserve attention. Earlier, the Russian military said that they had found a laboratory operated by militants in central Doma, which was capable of producing chemical weapons. In particular they found a cylinder filled with chlorine, which looked similar to the one that was shown in one of the videos of the alleged chemical attack in Doma and presented as a chemical bomb dropped from a helicopter. Read more The purported chemical incident in Doma allegedly took place on April 7. A week later, Washington and its allies launched a massive retaliatory missile strike against Syria, without even waiting for the Organization for the Prohibition of the Chemical Weapons OPCW, to start its investigation of the incident. Russia denounced those U.S.-led strikes, calling them hooliganism in international relations and an aggression against a sovereign state. In the meantime, Western media embarked on a massive campaign of accusing Moscow and Damascus of blocking the OPCW investigators from accessing the scene of the alleged attack. Gak, however, also seemingly dismissed this narrative, saying that the delay in the OPCW team's work may indeed have been caused by security issues. The German reporter also pointed out that some hidden extremist cells might be still operating on carrying out attacks in the recently liberated areas, even weeks after they had been retaken from militants. Gack's report was immediately labeled as propaganda by some of his fellow journalists in Germany. A reporter with a German bill daily, Bjorn Stritzel, who in particular is said to have been working undercover and actively communicating with Islamic State, is, former ISIS terrorists, lashed out at Gak, calling his report an unbelievable pro-Assad propaganda on German television. Last week, the Russian deputy foreign minister Mikhail Bogdanov said that there are still militants in Doma who terrorize citizens and, among other things, impede the normal work of representatives of the international community, the UN and the OPCW. On Saturday, the OP CW eventually confirmed that its team visited one of the sites of the suspected chemical attack in Doma and collected samples for analysis. If you like this story, share it with a friend.